wines are being tasted blind, so no one knows what's being tasted, and uh, the taste and the quality will show through, I'm sure. And amongst the judges, we have a range of people. We have consumers, professionals, um, and educators as well. So we want it to be as representative of the buying public as possible. I don't think that's changed particularly, but I think that their price point in terms of their buying has come down, certainly. I think uh, from the trades perspective and from our perspective as a business, um, you need to be judged on, on wines at this level. If you're, if you're taking yourself seriously, if you're professional, if you've been in the market for a long time, you're judged on your least expensive, most value-driven bottle that you have. Below $100 is where that is. It's the hardest task for a buyer to choose a wine at this price point. It, it's much easier to choose a wine at $5,000 a bottle if you're if you're a professional buyer. So yes, we're happy to be judged at this level, and I think the you know the best bottle will win. When you're in under $100, it takes a little more thought sometimes to find something that's really great to drink on its own, not just because it's, it's cheap. 